Welcome to another PLC training series from ControlX Engineering. In this brand new series, we will be exploring the world of back-off automation and learn about their various automation products. ControlX is an official member of the Backoff Integrator Group and has been a member since 2020. The Backoff Integrator Group is the official network of system integrators who are proficient in the application of backoff automation technologies. By utilizing approved integrators who are trained in backoff products, the Backoff Integrator Group strives to provide superb engineering, design, and support to customers in all markets across North America. This is the first in a series of videos under the Getting Started series. If you're new to Backoff Automation and their line of automation products, then consider subscribing to stay tuned to upcoming videos in this series. The objective of this Getting Started series is to get familiar with Backoff Automation hardware and software products. And in this series, we'll be touching on the subject from different perspectives. For example, the maintenance technician may need to understand how to diagnose a PLC fault or replace a card or troubleshoot machine issues by logging into the PLC to diagnose machine behavior. The PLC programmer, on the other hand, must have good understanding of the required software components and must create the appropriate logic to perform required machine objectives. The programmer should make use of available programming tools and features to write effective code. We will explore various features in TwinCat 3, from PLC tools to safety to connectivity and much, much more. The control system designer looks at the overall requirement of the machine or system and must select the appropriate components, field bus, sensors, and actuators to ensure they all work together. In later videos in this series, we will look at the various uh, product offerings from Backoff, from IPCs to IO to drives, servo motors, and various automation products and see how they all fit together. Let's first explore the perspective of the maintenance personnel. They are primarily responsible for maintaining and ensuring smooth operation of equipment and processes in the plant. They have to be able to troubleshoot and diagnose PLC malfunctions, be able to repair or replace faulty components, troubleshoot communication issues, and able to upgrade obsolete components. In this series, we will cover different topics related to back-off products. We will learn how to establish network connection to the back-off system, how to go online with the PLC, how to make PLC backups or restore PLC from a backup, learn when and how to switch PLC modes, and how to restart the PLC in case of faults, log into TwinSafe project to troubleshoot safety issues. We will also look into motion control and troubleshoot motion-related issues. Look at the various I.O. modules or slices from back of product offerings. Learn how to effectively troubleshoot PLC issues by looking at the diagnostic LEDs. We will learn how to correctly replace a faulty module or component. I will also point out online resources and how to get help and support uh, you need to keep your equipment running. The PLC programmer develops and writes control programs. They use various programming languages offered by TwinCAD to create logic that controls the behavior of machines and processes controlled by the PLC. These programs involve reading sensor data, making decisions based on that data, and sending instructions to control outputs like motors, valves, and other actuators. They analyze existing PLC programs to identify areas for improvement, optimize efficiency, and debug malfunctions or unexpected behavior. Once a control program is developed, they thoroughly test it in a simulated environment or on a test setup before deploying it to the actual equipment. They also ensure proper integration with other automation systems like HMIs and SCADA systems. Since this Getting Started series is targeted to programmers who are new to the back-off ecosystem or just getting started with TwinCat, we will cover a more wide range of topics like TwinCat Extended Automation Architecture. We will see how TwinCat actually works under the hood and how it achieves real-time operation capabilities. Then cover the basics of TwinCat for beginners and look at the platform and the development environment. We will look at the various programming language options available in TwinCat, understanding and implementing communication protocols like ADS, TCP, Ethernet IP, and others is crucial for data exchange with various devices and systems. We'll learn how to configure and integrate various hardware components like IO modules, drives, sensors, actuators, etc., into your PLC project. We will explore the various debugging tools and techniques to effectively identify and resolve issues in the PLC programs. We will also cover advanced topics like motion control, safety programming, visualization, creating and deploying multiple PLCs in one project. This is just the tip of the TwinCat iceberg. A control engineer, as the name suggests, is the architect for control system design. 
These systems regulate the behavior of machines, processes, and devices to achieve the desired outcomes. Part of their role is to correctly implement automation components like PLCs and drives, as well as safety implementation based on a specific machine design and risk profile. We will review the wide selection of product offerings that, from back off that will help the control designer choose the right components for the next automation project. We will introduce you to the various product offerings from back off automation and learn about PCBS control technology, which is back off's core specialty. We will explore their line of industrial PCs, panel PCs, and embedded CX series computers for process automation. Beckoff pioneered EtherCAT, which is a high-performance real-time Ethernet-based network protocol, enabling efficient communication between various automation devices within a control system. IOs are the backbone of industrial automation, and understanding the various IO modules when designing a control system is key. Beckoff offers a multitude of IO modules from analog, digital, position, temperature, communications, safety, and every other aspect of industrial automation requirement. Industrial automation hinges on precise and efficient movement, and that's where motion control steps in. It's like the conductor in an orchestra, ensuring each component from robotic arms to conveyor belts moves with the flawless timing and accuracy. Selecting the right motion component is highly crucial. Backoff has a wide offering of servo drives, distributed drive systems, rotary, linear, and translatory servo motors, gearboxes, as well as innovative products from linear product transport system to planar motion systems. Safety is paramount in industrial control systems to protect personnel, ensuring equipment integrity and preventing downtime and maintaining regulatory compliance. To meet these demands, we must have a good understanding of the safety requirements of the project and select the right hardware to meet these requirements. Often industrial automation requires communications over various field buses to be able to integrate many components from different vendors into one control system. This requires the ability to talk to those devices in their field bus system. We will explore various interfaces available in Backoff like Ethernet IP, OPC UA, TCP IP, Profinet, Serial, and many more. Choosing the right connectivity is just as important as any other aspect of control system design. Backoff products have many options for connectivity such as RJ45, M8, M12, D-Sub, Fiber Optic, and many more. We will look at these and other available connectivity options from back off. In later videos in this series, we will do deep dive into the various automation products from back off. So stay tuned and if you haven't yet subscribed, uh, then please consider subscribing so you don't miss a video. We will cover back off automation's wide variety of industrial PC selection from panel PCs to rugged control cabinet PCs to compact but powerful embedded DIN mountable PCs. The industrial PC solutions come with various performance specs, starting from the basic ones all the way up to the very high performance PCs for the most demanding tasks. We will cover their various performance levels and product selection criteria. Many field bus components are available for all common IO uh, types and field bus systems. High performance servo motion systems for highly dynamic positioning tasks twin cat suite of automation software and functions, and so much more. That's all for this introduction video. What topics are you most excited about? Do let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching and keep innovating.